भक्त विजय श्री गणेशाय नम श्री सरस्वत नम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम चैप्टर ट्वेल्व लाइफ ऑफ ज्ञानेश्वर कंटिन्यूड नामदेव टीचिंग टू ज्ञानेश्वर ऑन भक्ति टू द रिक्वेस्ट मेड बाय ज्ञानेश्वर ऑन द टीचिंग्स ऑफ भक्ति नामदेव गेव हिज रिप्लाय लिसन विथ रेवरेंस टू माई एक्सपीरियंस सो स्वामी One should have the determination to be indifferent to all earthly passions. One should have unchanging compassion on every creature. One should not have the troublesome thought of I and thou. One should not have any perplexities about the earthly life. As soon as one reaches this condition, his worship may be called pure. God fills the universe. He pervades the universe. With that fixed thought one should keep his mind steady this is called contemplation and it is an everlasting cloud of joy now you have asked how one should listen just as a deer absorbed by the sound of music forgets all about itself so with one's mind lost in the subject one should listen to services of praise in honor of god to this the wise and experienced give the name of bhakti through listening just as a miser giving his whole attention to his business stores up money so think about what is for your good this is called contemplation now as to study it is like the chatak bird who lives on earth but is always giving attention to the clouds in the heaven the lotus remains in the pond but its thought is towards the sun while a cow is feeding on the hillside it has its thought fixed on the calf a bee fixing its thought on a flower yet lives humming in the air so while performing one's domestic duties in their outward form god should be in one's heart vithal should be wholly in one's heart but his form should be seen in every creature one should entirely cast aside all wrong activities and thoughts and have love in one's heart he is called great who disassociates himself from worldly things and standing alone with a character of goodness wisdom and courage devotes himself entirely to the loving bhakti of one god one should regularly sit down by himself and perform services of song in praise of god all means that are employed contrary to this should be considered as bondage thus i have told you my experience regarding body speech and feelings of the mind but the one who is really telling this is the lord of pandhari shri vithal hearing nama's words nyandev was greatly amazed he said there are many bhaktas of vishnu and in the future also they will be innumerable in number but nama's teaching is most unusual today a rain of nectar has fallen upon us this unlimited joy and peace hardly ever takes place then may be jeevan muktas that is free while alive who have the knowledge of the soul and acquainted with the yoga philosophy and who sit down absorbed in contemplation but i see no one among them like nama yogi sit on iron spikes and live amongst men indifferent to earthly things but in the whole three worlds one like nama cannot be found nama's method of bhakti is never understood by others except by the husband of rukmini the lord of pandhari who stands on the brick nyaneshwar and namdev visit delhi such were their daily and occasional discussions as they walked along full of joy During their wanderings to sacred places they arrived at Hastinapur that is Delhi Namdev in his love was singing God's goodness as he came near the city everyone looked at him they listened to Nama's most unusual expression of love and prostrated themselves before him and taking cymbals veena and drums they danced while singing songs of praise having heard of Nama's kirtans an innumerable number of people gathered together they carried musical instruments and banners and organized a great assembly 
द मोमेडियन किंग हु लिव्ड इन द सिटी हर्ड अबाउट द अफेयर ही वॉज टोल्ड दैट भक्त नामा वॉज ऑन हिज वे टू विजिट सीक्रेट बेथिंग प्लेसेस एंड हैड अराइव फ्रॉम पंडरी ही इज परफॉर्मिंग कीर्तन इन द सिटी एंड दीज हैव ऑब्सॉर्ब द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द मैन एंड वुमेन वेन द किंग हर्ड ऑफ दिस His heart became full of anger but he said to himself I must go and see for myself Nama's recitation of Hari's deeds if I am not convinced by it I shall call it a heretical production thus thinking to himself this evil doer came to the kirtan just as a dog should enter into a brahmin's kitchen and touch his food just then Nama was filled with a sense of love as he was describing the attributes of shri hari the sky reverberated with the sound of cymbals the drum and the veena to that was added the loud hand clapping the enthusiasm was without limit now what did that mohammedan do in the midst of the enthusiastic kirtan he killed a cow and he said to nama what is this you are singing you heretic if you will raise this cow again to life I shall regard your songs as true. If you do not bring the cow to life, I shall kill you with my own hand. All the men and women were greatly concerned. Their minds were thrown into confusion and the enthusiasm of love melted away. Just as when dainty food has been served on plates and suddenly poison should fall on it. Such was the confusion felt that night by all the listeners. They sat silent in their places. for they could do nothing else before the king the mohammedan king said to nama when are you going to raise this cow to life give me some evidence of your truth and then go on praising hari the noble vaishnava replied o king it will certainly take me 4 days from today to do it having heard him say this the king went back to the palace Nama brought Hari to the mind and honestly asked him to come to his help. Nama was filled with enthusiasm of love and praised the Lord in the midst of his kirtan. His throat choked with emotion and tears flowed down from his eyes. The large assembly of those who came to hear him also began to weep. For a whole day they sat there. When the sun arose they got up and went to their homes. Nama took the head of the cow in his lap and wept. He cried out and said, "O Lord of Pandari Shri Hari, come quickly to my aid." Thus for 4 days, day and night, he cried to God to come and help him. The earth was sprinkled by the tears that fell from his eyes. He cried, "O God, hasten quickly, for death has come to swallow thy Nama. I am overcome with concern like the fish out of water." Hearing these moving words Krishna immediately came and manifested himself in Nama's heart He immediately raised the cow to life and then said to Nama Awake to consciousness Nama seized him tightly by the feet and now listen to what he said Oh God in what business have you entangled me For 4 days you have put me through an extreme test God replied O oh Nama It was you who made a needless promise. Why did you needlessly say that it would take 4 days to raise the cow to life? If you had only replied to the king that you would immediately raise the cow to life, I would certainly have rushed to your aid. It is your own mistaken thought that has borne fruit. Why do you needlessly blame me? For I, God, am subject to you, and I naturally act through my love to you. I accept as my duty the words that fall from the lips of my bhaktas. When a seer looks into a mirror, he sees himself just as he is. So when a man conceives of me in his heart, I, the savior of the world, am just as he conceives me. Just as a crystal assumes the color of the thing on which it is placed, so I, who am the subject to my bhaktas, become just as they would like me to be speaking thus the holder of the disc became invisible nama opened his eyes and looked and the cow was sitting there raised to life seeing this amazing thing the people reported the matter to the king 
Hearing this most extraordinary news, the Mohammedan king arrived on the scene. Seeing the cow whose head had been cut off now raised to life, the king made a namaskar to Nama. All the people felt great joy and exclaimed, "Blessed is the Vaishnava Nama, whose love for God, Brahmadev, and the other multitude of gods are unavailable to fully describe." Hands were clapped, accompanied by cries of "Victory! Victory!" The assembly of bhaktas rejoiced. Nama then arose and reverently worshipped Krishna. As the final hymns of praise were sung, all shouted, "Victory! Victory!" Blessed is this noble Vaishnava, for he has made the God subject to him. With this, we complete part four of Life of Nyanadev. Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om.